right into the fish cavity all of that spice that seasoning whoa oh my my right into the cavity of the fish Oh, from that I tell me, say it's ready, you know, guys. You hear that little noise? All right, so we're going to turn this and repeat the same process. What's up, my peeps? What's up? What's up? What's up, my viewers and subscribers? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate all the comments yes so today now i am going to do some roast fish with bami i'm going to do my bami in a different style yeah so you guys will see it i know i don't have my ingredients them out as yet but you know i'm just i just feel like showing you guys my fish so anything i use you don't know i'm going to show you show it to you all right so let me kick things off and no i'm going to start i'm going to blend up my seasoning now my earth seasoning all right I'm using some turmeric, adding some turmeric to my blended season. Red chili, fish seasoning, and I'm just going to cover and blend. just gonna go ahead now and just put this aside and put some mark in my fish And these are some snapper fish. I also have a jackfish here, but it's mostly snapper. So I'm using file wrap. Just going to go ahead and wrap my fish. I know the last time we was outside roasting some natural fish here. Yeah? Now we're using the foil to wrap these fish right about now. This is like it's for small. Let me check. The tool is here. Well, so I'm looking at the eye right here. So we just cast up our blended season all over our fish and in the fish cavity as well. And we're going to do it. We're going to do this. We're going to repeat this process on both sides of the fish. Right into the fish cavity. Then I'm going to just give that a nice gently wrap. Just toss a little piece of butter onto the fish, and then we are just going to wrap, wrap him up, 
like a good old fishy fishy right into the fish cavity all of that spice that seasoning wow oh my my right into the cavity of the fish Oh, that I tell me say it ready, you know, guys. You hear that little noise? All right, so we're going to turn this and repeat the same process. All right, now, guys, time to go under the oven with this bad boy fish. So I'm just going to place them in this tray here to get them all roast. I look like it can't wait so let up all righty so we're going over to the oven so come along all right so let's have a dash them fish here in the oven to roast all right all right guys so while my fish is roasting i'm going to just cut up these bummy so i have a piece of punk in here I'm going to peel it off. I don't want the skin to use. I know the vitamins in the skin, but I'm not using the skin in this dish. And I have a big scotch bonnet pepper here. So you're going to see how I deal with my bonnet. So let's just put this aside and just cut up the bunny one by one. So I'm going to bust this in two, then bones and four quarter. So this is what I'm going to do with all of the bummy until they are finished. So I have already washed my pumpkin. So I'm just peeling off the skin. Peeling off the skin of the pumpkin, guys. All right, so I'm just going to dice this up into some small pieces. So I'm using a piece of this scotch bonnet pepper here. This is so huge. We need a little seed as well. All right, so that should do it. This, this big boy is huge. Look at this piece that leaves. Mm, spicy, I smell it in my nose. I'm going to toss a piece of butter. 
and just allow that to melt as soon as that is melt adding my pumpkin to the pot then I'm gonna go ahead and add my pepper as well and I'm gonna saute that up for a bit I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some salt in my pot as well I'm gonna give that a good little mix So I'm adding some coconut milk to my pot. All right. So I add some coconut milk to my pot and we're going to just cover and allow to simmer a little before I dash in my bami. Almost I've got my time, so I'm gonna dash my fresh spring thyme into the pot as well that juice and that spicy season so what i did i use a spoon to scoop up as you can see i'm doing here and just to toss it all over the bunny scoop up the liquid and toss it all over the bunny i should have used a steeper pot so guys Depending on the amount of bam you're using, make sure you use a steeper pot. So I didn't use a, a deep pot, so this is what happened, but it's all good. So we're gonna cover. Remember to turn down your stove gauge. Cover and allow to steam. Alrighty. Alrighty, I'm going to add my bami to the pot right about now. This is smelling all nice and spicy. The fragrance. So we are adding our bami piece by piece to the pot. So I'm just going to cover this now guys and allow the bami to soak up all of that spicy, nice coconut. So our bami is finished. So this is it. Coconut pumpkin bami. all right guys so i'm diving into some of this roast fish and bami and can i tell you it passed my expectation really nice trust me mm. Spices that are in the bun, plus the spices that are in the fish. Oh my, I couldn't have anything more. Mm. Really lovely. Mm. 